Dante was, my family was a church family. Dante's family, Dante was hustling. Wow. So let me give you Dante's side of it. Dante <clears throat> grew up hustling. His mother was hustling. You know what I mean? His mother was on drugs at one point. You know what I mean? So he came from a lot of drugs in his family, a lot of like the streets. You know what I mean? A lot of his, all his cousins was hustling. You know, at one point, Dante was like bringing, putting food on the table, you know, just from the streets. You know what I mean? This is a young kid. You know what I mean? Not even 18 yet. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> that was his life. So he had, you know, his mother, you know, got clean and everything and she was getting herself together. And she was like, I really want you to get your, I want you to get your license. I want you, I mean, not your license. I want you to get your diploma, your high school diploma. Because that's a big deal in their family. Nobody graduated from high school. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, he was like, all right, I'm going to do that, whatever. So the day he decides, it took him a while to get it together. You know, this talk, you know, all right, I'm going to go. You know, he's like, I'm going to go take some time. Well, he, the day he finally goes is the day that I'm, I'm playing at the piano in the school. So how our school is set up, when you come in, the first level is the auditorium and the music and all of the arts is on the first level. Everything else you have to go up these stairs to get to. And that's where like English, social study, all them other classes and everything else. And auditorium, gymnasium, all that stuff's on the first step. So when you first come in, the music room is like right to the left. And, the, and if that door is open, which it was, you can hear us in there singing, harmonizing. You know what I mean? And people in class, that's, that's that boy David singing again. You know what I mean? So I'm singing and Dante hears the singing. And instead of going to where he was supposed to go or check in, Dante actually went, <laughs> went to the class. And that's how we met. Boom. Wow. That's how that's that's when we connected. So, you know, everything was ordered steps, man. Everything was by design, man. Yeah. You know, how we linked up and how we're here now. Even us getting back together, we got back together because Baltimore, you might have heard about it, was in an uproar. The whole city was on fire. Hmm. You know what I mean? Because of Freddie Gray. You know, Freddie Gray was was uh, you know, wasn't done right. You know what I mean? The brother lost his life, the police brutality, and um me and Dante was actually, I was in an area called Pikesville in Baltimore, right? And I'm just going to show you how crazy of a coincidence. So you want to say, I say it's destiny, but tell me how crazy this sounds to me, right? You ready for this? Yeah. So I'm in an area of Baltimore called Pikesville. This is a very Jewish area. And on a, on the Sabbath, they don't do nothing. You ever been in a Jewish area? What do they do on, on the Sabbath? Yeah, that you can't see them outside until sunset. You can see them outside. They walk in the streets and everything, right? So yeah. it's the Sabbath. So we're walking, and this is a time I haven't seen Dante in years. I haven't seen Dante. I may, I may have maybe talked to him maybe a few times, but haven't wasn't. So I, at this time, I'm in the car. No, no, Dante at this point was doing shows with another guy. He had called me. I gave him my blessing. Brother, go do some shows with Rough Ends. You know, get that money. You know what I mean? It's whatever out here. If people want to see Rough Ends perform and I'm not doing it no more, get somebody else that'll be filling the part. So that's what he did. He had another guy, guy named Will. And a, a girl was talking to Dante on the phone saying, yo, I, I saw the show you did with the guy, Will. It was okay, but you know, He's like, yo, you a different kind of animal. That other guy, he was cool. He could sing and everything, but it's just not the same. You need to get your brother back. And Dante is in this area, the same area I'm at called Pikesville. And on this day, he said, you know what? I'm going to walk to the store. I usually don't walk around here because it's just as a black man, you don't, we just going to drive. We know some, we know, we just, <laughs> but he, he, you know, he decides it's a beautiful day. I'm going to walk. So he's walking and he's talking to them on the phone. Now switch to me. I'm in the car with my family, my wife. We talking in the phone, my son in the car. We talking, hey, you know, and I'm like, man, sometimes, you know, I miss my brother sometimes. And, you know, and I was like, sometimes I look around and I, I, I say, sometimes I be looking at some people. I be like, that brother look like Dante. <laughs> I said, this be happening every, I said, it be happening to me every time I go somewhere. I see, I see somebody that look like Dante. And as I'm saying this, I look over and I see this guy and I'm like, see, see this guy right here? This guy look like it's Dante. <laughs> oh my God, it's Dante. <laughs> and it was actually Dante as I'm saying it. Now he, again, he switches over to the girl. He's on the phone. 
I get out the car. I pull the car over in the middle of the street while the Jewish people still on the street. I pull over. <laughs> I stop the car. I don't even pull over. I stop the car. I do pull over a little bit. But I stop the car and I get out the car, you know, shut the door. And I run over there to him. And I'm trying to sneak up on him. And he turns around. And he's talking to the girl. And the girl was like, I don't care what you do, but you need to get you need to get your partner back in the group. Y'all need to figure, work it out or whatever and get him back. And then he's looking up and she's talking. I'm wanting to, he's like, hold up, hold up. You know, you know how somebody's over talking and you trying to get a word in? <laughs> yeah. You're trying to, you know, interject. He's trying to interject. He's like, look, David is, you wouldn't believe what's going on. David, as you're talking, he's actually running over here. She's like, what? He's actually walking over here to me right now as you're speaking. And we just, you know, we just hug like something out of a movie, man. It was crazy. But we got together, man. In that moment, we did a song for our city called Time for Change. And that was the rebirth of, of Rough Ends again. You know what I mean? Wow. Uh, we did an album called Soul Brothers. So that was our first project we did, Soul Brothers. Soul Brothers was an album that we just had stuff off our chest. We needed to get, you know, get off from from back when we was together, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then uh, Rebirth is the album that we did with a new partnership. I have, I'm the CEO of Chance Music and Media Group. So we're a company that we are a small uh, independent music company that do media as well. So we, we got a couple films coming out. We got a couple shows coming out as well. Um, so definitely be staying, stay tuned for that. But my, my company got a deal with SRG and uh, Rebirth is the first project with that partnership. So that's why this is a special album. Shout out to Claude Bellini from SRG uh, Universal um, and the whole team over there at SRG that's been really helping us, man, and get the project going, you know? Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, to press the notification bell so that you can be notified when we do have a new interview loads to come but thanks a lot for watching